Where is Optimus Prime? He survived the fall of Cybertron, and no rebellion is destroyed with that leader being vanquished. So where is he? My name is Cruff Jumper, Lieutenant of the Autobot Resistance. My safe, my safe, wrong answer. We know he's planning to establish the base. Tell us what he is, and we'll let you live. My name is Cliff Jumper. Let's Pulling apart for no reason. No. That's B-127 signal. Can you trace it? Already did. If you won't tell us who he is, maybe your young friend will. Never. You're a brave warrior. You deserve a better death. <laughs> that again. <laughs> Set course for Earth. Is it finally time for one of the best girls? I'm sorry, that was fucking terrible. What's up, YouTubers? One and all, my name is Fate of 1987, and today we will be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series number 59, Jet Mode Shatter. We looked at Blit we re-looked at Blitzwing last video, and in this one, we are just gonna be continuing the Bumblebee movie hype. Let's go. Um, no, but seriously, this is a really good figure. Like, I kid you not. Also, has freaking Z's. Can do a VTOL. This is a VTOL jet, by the way. Uh, um, uh, Harriers are actually VTOL jets. So, the fact that it can actually do this is incredible. But, yeah. And then also, these guns are actually from the uh, car mode shatter. But it still works the freaking same. I kid you not. Um, again, let's size comparison with the others. With trio as usual. With Bumblebee. Which, I don't think I did that with Blitzwing, but I don't care. And then, um, again, with Soundwave, because she was also during the Cybertron scene. I don't think Blitzwing does. What's the... And then because it's Jets, um, let's bring in Cyclonus and Thundercracker. Though, quite honestly, I'm going to need to get the Cybertronian version of Thundercracker. I I'm going to get the Cybertronian versions of, of the other characters. Like, to be honest, I, I, love, I, love, I love some of the stuff in the series. It's, it's so good. I don't have a cliff jumper, unfortunately. I mean, w w you want a red car? I mean, I could give you Knockout. Never put these two together. <laughs> I am not going to say anything. All right. All right. All right. Here's one I definitely wanted to do, though. Nightbird. You know what? This doesn't look bad, to be honest. All right. All right. Enough playing around. Let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's... Two transform shatter. First, we're gonna do is we're gonna flip these up, and then we're going to kind of split the wings. And if we haven't already, kind of take off the guns. <sighs> like so. Okay. So now the guns are off, and we can basically lift this entire section off. So we're going to spin this around 180. And we're going to kind of shift the leg upwards so that this can kind of rest there as a foot. Spin it around. Shift it upwards. Like so. And there you have legs all done. So we're going to focus on the wings. We're going to focus on the wings. So we're going to lift this up like so. 
we're going to kind of bring it like this in a way. And we're going to lift this entire section down, put the camera up a little bit. So we're going to split the arms and we're also going to rotate the body 180. Like so. Tab these in. Spin arms around, you're done. Tab these in. Spin arms around, you're done. Lift up the head for good measure. And then here's what we're going to do. We're going to go on the back here. We're going to double hinge this. And then this peg for the landing gear is supposed to go right in here. And once it does, it's going to soft lock right there. You're going to lift this up. This is going to bring this entire back section down. Lift up the head and it fell in that cavity again. There's a little nub here. You're going to soft lock it on that nub. And then you're just going to angle the wings. There. Soft lock it on the nub, angle the wings to the right moment. Unfortunately, there is no way to fix that gap. It is what it is, unfortunately. But there you have Shatter in her robot mode. And she's just a beautiful design. Like, I gotta get the props to the figure again. This is so much better than the car version. Though, honestly, I just want to own a car version because I'm actually getting into the collecting the Bumblebee movie since officially, as of Skywarp and Shockwave, and also the newly revealed, um, um, well, not revealed, more like leaked Sunstreaker, we're basically, we basically have every single character, not like design, but just, just character in general for Transformers Bumblebee. Rise of the Beasts got pretty close within just one year. One year releasing figures. It got pretty close. It took a couple years for, for Transformers 2007, and even then they couldn't manage it because they still haven't released a Frenzy. I mean, come on, dude. Revenge of the Fallen, well, it would have been complete would it have not been for freaking the Twins or some other repaints. Dark of the Moon, well, sorry, that one's too far behind. So, really the closest, I could say, of me com completing collections of movies is Bumblebee and Bumblebee. I um, mean, it used to be Dark of the Moon, but not anymore. It used to be 2007, not anymore. But now it's also uh, Rise of the Beast. So basically, the recent two films. But all in all, it's not a bad figure. Sorry I got off track, but just, yeah, just kind of lamenting a little bit. So, for articulation, she has a ball joint for the head. It can look up too far, it seems, unfortunately. I kind of wish there was less of a gap here. And then, nothing for down. Uh, she has... I guess, are these ball joints? No, they're swivels. They're kind of swivels for the shoulders, but they can go kind of 360. You cheat it. Yeah, it's kind of goes 360. Uh, 360 for the ball, for the for the upper bicep swivel. She's got a uh, 90 degree bend at the elbow. No wrist, no wrist. Uh, her wings can kind of just flare in and out. They kind of just don't really do much, to be honest. Uh, Laz can kick 
forward that far. Wow. Kick back that far, thanks to the fact that this is actually unimpeded. Uh, she has... She can't do the full splits. She has a uh, thigh as a as a knee swivel, which is uh, kind of weird. And then 90 degree bend at the knee. And then, of course, uh, for the feet, she has nothing, kind of. I mean, of course, we want to count this, but that's something different. So, she has decent posability. Her weapons, uh, even though these are from the car most shattered, they're pretty much the exact same, kind of. You just kind of plug them on, and there you go. And then for side comparison, we're going to bring in... Um... We're going to bring in, of course, Blitzwing, our last review. And then we're also going to bring in Dropkick. So, there we go. There, we have the original three. Once again, we're going to bring in Megatron because that's what we do. That was too quick. There. Ling let it linger just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we have that. We're going to bring in Nightbird. And the reason why we're bringing in Nightbird is because... Well, this is basically that trio thing I was talking about last time. This is the trio of Decepticons. Well, now next to the trio of, of uh, Terracons. And this is next to the Fem one. And as you can see, they kind of kind of share some similarities, but not really. It, it, it's hard. It's hard to do it. Also, she's a little bit mistransformed. Why am I doing this on camera? Because I, I just feel like it, right? There we go. She really needs an upgrade kit. Like, they, they all do. Especially Scourge, but they all need an upgrade kit. Like, seriously. So, I'm finally done with Nightbird. Uh, next to Soundwave and Shockwave. Because, well, that's how it is. This is the wrong shockwave, but honestly, I'm not going to have time to actually get the Bumblebee movie one, to be honest. So, just why? Why should I even try to get it? And then, finally, next to... I know, it's not it's not Carmo, but it's not the VW one, which I do have. But I, I, I'm not going to try transforming that mess right now. I'm not. Not when I have this, thankfully. But, yeah, that's basically it. And then if you want core class kinds of comparison, which I don't think I did that with uh, Blitzwing, which, honestly, I'm, I'm not going to do at this point since I already recorded him. Here's next to Noah. There. You're welcome. So, let's get down into transformation, and we're going to need to remove the weapons first, obviously. Ugh, like so, so there we go. And yes, if you're wondering, Draw Kick is in fact the last of the trio to be reviewed. Don't worry. So to transform Shatter, first what we're gonna do, we're gonna flip her head back in. That's literally the first thing we're going to do. We're going to do that. And we're going to just kind of angle the feet and whatnot. We're just going to kind of do that because this is really easy. This is the easiest part of transformation. It's just kind of pushing these back and kind of angling her feet around. And yeah. So what we got here is that we're going to bring this all the way back. And then kind of push this forward. And then all of this is going to. We're going to untab the arms. We're going to bring them up. And then we're going to lift these up. Was I off camera? What the fuck? We're going to rotate. Ugh. After bringing this down, of course. 
we're going to rotate like that 180 and bring the arms in all the way like so bring the arms in all the way and kind of just have them tap together for now like this so for the most part the jet should be mo looking like this also you can tap in the you can just straighten this out and then we're going to tap this together and then tap both this and the tail together and you can bring these down so that's most of the transformation so all we got left is the wings so we're going to bring all this back we're going to bring all of this back like so We're going to bring this down around like so, and then we're going to kind of have it angle like this. It's supposed to look something a little bit like this. Do the exact same thing here. Angle, push it around. So then what's going to happen is that after angling properly, we're going to push these tabs into and these tabs right here into these slots right here and hopefully it should all settle into place but it's not why the fuck is it not And at the same time, you also want to push these in Ah, that's what it is. You need to have these like this and then all this is going to snap in there on all four tabs like that. There we go. And then the landing gear you can flip up or down, it's up to you. These are molded like that. And then finally, uh, wrong thing, where is it? Where is it? And finally, you take the guns and just tap them on either side of the jet. And then you can bring these VTOL boosters down if you'd like. There you go. That's Shatter in her vehicle mode and the end of the review. The next review is going to be the finale of the trio. The one and only. I like the way they pop. Blitzwing. <laughs> not, not, not Blitzwing. Draw kick. Dropkick, which he has a small, small problem, which I will get to during transformation. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's not that fun as it seems. But um, yeah. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking notifications bell so you can be caught up on all my updates and videos. Please, please like. Comment, share, and subscribe because we are heading near to 500 subscriber point. And again, I dwelled over this before. We're on crunch time. I'm trying to get all these reviews done before April, and that includes Unicron. So if we don't hit the goal, we'll just screw it. Okay? And as always, till all are one.